Hey everybody, we're getting ready to take off here probably in the next, uh, I'll shoot, probably in the next 15 minutes or so uh, to the Arctic Circle and I just kind of wanted to show everybody what we did with the vehicle and the trailer we built so you kind of understand our setup with what we got going on here. So uh, this basically is Rebecca's Land Cruiser that we're taking. Um, it's got a little less miles than mine. It's not as well built as mine, but it's a way better rig. It doesn't have any of the issues that mine has. It, it, it hasn't had a lot of time off-road, so it's, it's, a, it's just a lot more reliable. Um, you can kind of see what we got there. So the brush guard we got at the junkyard for I think like 80 bucks with the bumper, and I refinished it in rhino lining. Um, and lights, it's got, if you can see there, it's got the, uh, the two sets of lights, the top lights and then the bottom lights there. Um, and those are all set up, um, and it's got HID headlights as well. Um, so that'll really help when we're out in the dark of it, uh, if we even get any, uh, serious darkness. Because it, it's not, um, 24 hour sun, uh, sunlight right now, but it does... I think, I think it uh, sunsets around like 10 or something like that. And we're playing on some late days, so the lights will be really helpful. Um, really clean truck. You can see on top there, we have two big totes. Um, the one on the driver's side is camp stuff. The one on the passenger side is tools and recovery gear. You can see a propane tank. There's two of those up there. Uh, our fire pit runs on propane, and we do that because it, it, we can use it during burn bans. And it's a lot cleaner. You don't smell homeless after um, using that uh, propane fire pit. It's a super easy, good heat. Um, we've been, and you don't carry a lot of firewood with you. At least in the Northwest, when you, when it comes to firewood, you have to usually bring your own because the stuff out is really cold or wet. So you're, you know, it's just really smoky. So that, that's just, we found that to be really nice. Uh, bringing Anthony's mountain bike. We might bring another bike. Um, just because, but it's also, if anything happens, it's nice to have another set of wheels if we had to send somebody to get help. Um, up there on top, you can all see chairs and propane uh, fire pit and the kitchen set is up there. Um, this is the trailer. We built this completely from scratch. Uh, we got two spares on there. Uh, the one in the back is for the Land Cruiser. The one in the front there is for the trailer. Uh, the trailer does run a 35 inch tire as well, just like the Land Cruiser, a little big for a trailer. Axles I built myself, they're uh, uh, two inch uh, square tube with new spindles. Those are uh, Jeep wheels off of JK. Um, so this is the inside of the trailer. So right now we have basically Rebecca and my clothes in here. Uh, Rebecca's bringing her paddle board, it's a, or her, uh, she's borrowed a paddle board. And uh, the clothes for the kids are in those totes back there. There's, there's three totes, pillows, fishing poles, and this is Rebecca and I's sleeping quarters. It's not very big. It's six by four, so that's really not a lot of space. Um, but it's good for us, um, and it's nice, well insulated. The trailer is quarter inch plywood fiberglassed over with a uh, uh, styrofoam uh, pad in between I think I think it's an inch pad between two layers of quarter inch plywood so I hope that it'll be pretty well insulated it keeps the heat really well right now uh, windows so this glass right here and the glass right there are out of a 67 Econoline van out of the back doors of an Econoline van uh, latch bottom on my Amazon everything else is well this plywood and all the metal on this thing I pulled out of a scrap bin, uh, built the roof rack out of a, so this and that and the step on the other side uh, came off of a ladder rack that I pulled out of a, a scrap bin and chopped it up and used that. This is the kitchenette back here, now it's all set up right now, to, we're about to close the door and leave, but basically cook stove, washing stuff, behind here is the cooler that has all of our frozen goods, all of our breakfast, everything's been pre-frozen. So um, all of our uh, breakfast and some of our dinners are pre-prepped, frozen in there. Um, up here is all of our cooking stuff that we need. Um, you can see back there, knives, utensils, everything hanging on the wall. Uh, water bin right here. 
Um, this is kind of dish water, I think, is what we're using. It'll be drinkable water, but mainly we'll be using it for like dishes and stuff like that. We have another water tote that we're bringing. We're going to bring bottled water as well. Um, other side of the trailer here. Jerry cans. Um, with where we're going, this Land Cruiser will not make it on a tank of gas, so we need to bring extra jerry cans so we can uh, make the distance between gas stations, as fun as that is. And Land Cruiser again. I don't know, I didn't point this out earlier. It's got lights. We put these um, auxiliary lights on last trip we went on when we did the Wabdar. So it's got uh, eight of these little pods around the roof rack. It's a uh, flat roof rack. Um, which is, I find that to be really nice because, um, well, it's, I mean, it's just easier to strap stuff on if you build your own setup, I guess. Um, it's more uh, universal, and the clearance is nice. My, my particular Land Cruiser has a uh, huge Safari rack on it, which is cool, but um, it, it, in the Northwest, we have a hard time clearing a lot of obstacles. This one's, uh, it's actually four inches shorter than mine. And she has the same exact lift, same exact tires on hers. So I think I'll be going to the same type of roof rack when I get a chance to build one. But so far it's been great. And you can see up there, what I've done is I just took some little borderings to bolt everything in place and then just strapped everything on top of that. So right now the roof rack is set up specifically for the load that we're carrying. Um, inside here, very simple setup, nothing crazy. You can see, just yeah, simple dash, nothing crazy here. Um, this right here is really cool, I like this setup. Um, I got this on Amazon, it's got all of our light switches on here. And I don't know if you can read that, but it also has a voltmeter um, that shows you where your battery's sitting. I freak out when I'm in the middle of nowhere in the morning. You know, my biggest fear is have left a dome light on or something stupid. And this will tell you exactly what the battery's sitting at at all times. So if I wake up in the morning and that's at 9 volts, I know instantly I have a problem. And I brought a jump box. So it's just, it's a good peace of mind. If we have the car off and we're running the um, LEDs uh, at camp, we can watch that. And once that gets a little too low, we can shut them off. So... So that's kind of nice. At this point, I don't have an auxiliary battery set up, so this is just a really nice way to monitor what we have going on um, as far as the battery goes, because obviously you can't push start one of these things. So, so that's kind of nice. Um, I think that's everything. I think I've covered it pretty good. Uh, wish us luck. We're about to leave here in the next couple minutes to uh, go to Canada and head up to uh, the Arctic Circle. And uh, yeah. Uh, follow us and hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.